When it comes to working on civil projects, one thing is pretty common. We generate lots of documents, which translates into managing lots and lots of paper. Now, how an organization deals with this situation can either be a drag on their business or a way to stand out from their competition. To demonstrate this, let's take a quick look at two firms. Randy's firm leverages multiple team members on a project. Some are located at the main office, some are remote, and some work for various subconsultants. Now, they usually print a PDF, but it seems most things ultimately end up being converted to paper so they can be reviewed and marked up. And getting these paper documents and markups back and forth to the right people creates a number of challenges for Randy. Across town, Susan's firm uses a different approach. They use BIM 360 Docs to make PDF documents available to all team members such that they can be reviewed and marked up electronically anytime from anywhere. While doing a review, Randy notices a problem on one of the subconsultant's plan sheets, so he tries to reach that person via phone and email. He describes the problem in the sheet that it's on so it can get fixed. Randy hopes his description is clear enough so the issue is resolved without a lot of back and forth. He also makes a mental note to himself not to forget about this with everything else that he has going on. At Susan's office, she has discovered a similar issue, but she resolves it much differently. Using BIM 360 Docs, she can create an issue containing a description directly on the PDF plan sheet along with a markup to provide additional detail. She can then assign this issue to the appropriate party and BIM 360 Docs will automatically track its status through completion. Randy receives an updated plan sheet. It looks good, but it appears that other changes might have been made beyond what he had requested. He looks for the original document as well as the old office light table so he can lay the sheets on top of each other and look for differences. Susan receives an email that her changes were made, and she logs into BIM 360 Docs to review them. In BIM 360 Docs, she has access to the current plan sheet as well as any previous version. If she has any concerns about a sheet, she can quickly compare it to any previous version using a light table style tool right there on her screen. Randy stores his project documents in banker boxes in his office. The storage space needed has recently required him to rent additional space across town. In fact, he has two people there right now looking for an archive project that could be the source of litigation in the near future. Susan's documents are all available in the cloud. They don't take up any floor space or require any external storage facility. Everything is right there at her fingertips, along with an audit trail about each file. Because you never know when information about when files were created, edited, or viewed might come in handy. Randy's guys just called. They found the right boxes, but it doesn't look like the documents they were looking for are in there. They ask Randy what they should do now. Unfortunately, Randy is going to be working late again tonight. Across town, Susan will be sleeping well. Her files are stored safely in the cloud. If she needs to find anything, she can search her project documents electronically to quickly locate exactly what she's looking for. The difference is pretty clear, but let's think about it a different way. Who would you want working on your project? 